Hey guys, Keith from Helvonic Games. Today I am on the Tenia Stellar map and I'm going to show you the location of the Artifact of the Immune. It's quite a long cave, um, it's very dangerous and I'm probably going to use some uh, cheats. I'm on single player, I'm probably going to use some cheats along the way to make sure I can show you the full well, the full path all the way through without having to die and uh, faff around. I do want you to know. I do want you to see the full path through. So, um, yeah, so to start with, you need to come to 78.7, 20.9, and it's uh, the big landmark is the big castle type area. And what you're looking for is this back kind of the garden at the back of the castle. And outside the castle walls, you're looking for that overhang down there. Little overhang. You can see the coordinates in the top left there. There's a couple of spiky, spiky things that are also a good landmark. So you're going to drop down here, and um, there's the castle wall. You see we're on the outs outside of the castle wall right now, and you're going to drop down again, and then turn around, and you see that is the entrance there. So the um, the dungeon. So we're going to put God mode on. Um, I am going to kill a few things along the way, but uh, and I may even need, need to fly at some point. But uh, at the moment, we're just going to I'm going to show you the way. So you need to make your way through all these um, vines, and the start is pretty linear. So uh, I think you've got to jump over that. Don't remember that. Don't remember that drop off down there. There's a drop off with a ton of Trudons, so you don't want to be dropping off down there. Okay, um, let go away. There's another drop off, and oh, okay, so you can you can avoid those Trudons, but you can just walk straight out of there if you, if you want to know. All right, keep going, and uh, let's, let's move on. So that looks like a dead end. So we'll go right and follow the mist, so you can remember that being the way. And the first cavern there. And way down, and uh, some roots. So we want to be the other side of that cavern. So we're just going to use our uh, tech suit. Just to get to the other side. Lots of uh, ichiosaurus. Um, a bit lit. It's all linear at the moment, so I'm just the only one direction you can go. I'll keep following these vines from the ceiling. And into this cavern, and then round the corner, the exit of this cavern is now uphill. We'll start to work our way uphill again. Just run past all that. As you can see, enter into this cavern, follow it round to the right, still following the vines. I think. I hope I haven't turned around on myself. No, that's it. And uh, slightly different cavern now with water. You see another cavern to get past. I think we're trying to make our way into here and then through this little gap. Actually, I think you've got to go down under the water and go into that go into that uh, tower from the bottom. So you go down into the water. Yeah, you do. Down into the water, and there's the path. This is the true entrance to the uh, the dungeon. So those caverns are just the entry point. And then you you know you can make your way up the spiral. But we'll get to the top of the water, and we're just going to fly all the way up the top of the spiral. Of course, you're probably going to have to do that on foot. And then at the top, at the top, you are now in um, in the actual castle itself. So this is where we're going to probably kill a few things, just so they're not uh, following us through. We're going to maybe drop down there. If we get to drop down there, maybe that'll be easier. <laughs> Come on then. Lots of snakes.
We can see how long this would take. If I didn't have God mode on, I'd be having to be really careful. Um, so uh, it can get a bit turned. It can get a bit turned around on um, in this one. So uh, there's quite a lot of dead ends like that. But actually, there is only one way through this castle once you can find it. So there's another dead end. Lots of Valanosaur. <laughs> I'm not quite sure because I don't think you can get. Oh my! Uh, for some reason, my God mode is deactivated. That's not good. So uh, let's reactivate that. And I'm just going to see if I can get a dino out here just to just to speed things up. I'm not sure whether you can, but we'll try. No, so it's so the dino mode is. Yeah, really. Okay, background. I think that's about all of them. I'm just going to kill that. <laughs> if I could hit the thing. There we go. Okay, we'll leave those true dons alone. They don't seem to be aggro. What I am going to do is pop some bug repellent. It's always good to have on in caves. Alright, lots of true dons. Must be daytime, so they're not aggro. And you want to go down the steps. About, by, about around the back there was a dead end, by the way. Dead end. Go down the steps. That doesn't seem to let you through, it does. There we go. We'll work our way to the end. You see, there's another dead end there. Turn around. Come back out. You must have to go through the middle. Lots of uh, micro raptors. Oh, if it doesn't want to die, it doesn't want to die. We'll maybe run past these ones. Just too many to kill. I can't be bothered. Okay, there's a drop down over there. I think the background here is a dead end, yes it is. So we'll go, go around here. And uh, still linear, still only one way you can really go. Apart from the dead ends. Uh, we'll take that out. Take the cap of Supers out. And then we start to go up again. Better have something to eat. Okay, where's that thing gone? I don't know, but anyway. So, there's a drop back down, you don't want to take that. Now we're, now we're making our way up. And cool down. Okay, and up the stairs we go. Something's around to eat the. Oh, it's my uh, my otter. Circus. Uh, 
They're quite the pain, aren't they, those things? Have a look around. Okay, so that's uh, just a dead end room. Just continue to make our way up. Okay, so we've got that in there. More Capra Sucus, but they can't get out, so we'll carry on. Tons of them. Run away! <laughs> They're over there, we'll run this way. Okay, there's a way down there, there's a way over there. It's this way we want to be. You see this kind of, this is like the top of a tower, but it's inside the room. Okay. I think they can get through, but... Okay, so we're at the top of a tower, there's no way up, but uh, there is a way down. So we're just going to drop down a little way. And the exit's at the bottom. We're still making our way through the castle at the moment. I actually didn't know enough to did that, I didn't know it would uh, I didn't know it collects the meat for you, it's pretty cool. Okay, so we're out through there, and there's that way, we'll just check that way first, a dead end, that way is... Kill that, kill that, yeah that's a dead end. That's a dead end. Look what was around the other side of that. Have a quick look. And that's a dead end too. So it's still linear. It's still only one way you can go. We have to go through the archway. Run past these. Can't be bothered. Our weapon cooled down, so there's a way left, and the right is a dead end. So we'll go left. And I don't know what that is, that looks like a alpha fire weapon through that room. So we're getting close to the fire weapon room. Uh, we'll make our way along in the middle and see what we can find at the other end. Now normally, <clears throat> this, I've just done a run through, but this is normally blocked by stones. So you would see uh, stones blocking a big pile of stones in this corner. And you, you need to like clear them out. Clear all them out to, to reveal the door. And this is the way into the fire weapon area, so. Climb the stairs. That's blocked. Looking for an open doorway. That's blocked, but you can see in there the fire area. Blocked. Blocked. Eventually, there we go, an open one. So there we go. So this is the fire uh, alpha fire within room, room. I've seen two in here at a time. So there's one over there. So I'm just going to use cheat command to kill that rather than uh, attempting to kill it <coughs> by uh, shooting at it. There's sometimes two flying around in here, that's the fire weapons. And where we want to be in this room is there is another area, <coughs> another set of rocks to break I believe to get into that tower in the middle. So you can, I mean you can make your way around the outside. <coughs> there is a, a path that slowly drops you down. You can see, but anyway, we're just going to drop straight down. So, I've already killed the fire weapon. I'm not 100% sure how much damage you take from this fire, um, but we'll have a look, see what happens. I'm not taking any damage, but because I've got god mode on, 
But anyway, I'll just show you and have a look around. I think you've got to make your way through another broken... To get into the tower, there's a way in. But the way in, again, is hidden by rocks in a similar way to the other one. So I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. And then you're into this tower. And there's a way down. I'm not sure whether there is a way up, but we'll just check up. We'll just check the way up. I think the way up is actually just a dead end. I think now we're going to be going into the water. Yeah, so the top is a dead end. Uh, so we will be dropping right to the bottom. There we go, we drop to the water and it keeps going down, so that's where we dropped. Just keep going to the bottom, see if they, they exits from the bottom. And there's the exit from the tower. And out we go. So, we're now in a water area. Now I think, I think you just keep going down, and, and this is the bit I'm not 100% about, so we'll just have a look. I think the trick is I want you to go up and have a look around, but I actually think you carry on going down. Yeah, that's it. Just keep going down. turn yellow and try and run away if they see me but there's no other dinos in here so there's nothing to attack there was a caprasuchus in here once halfway up that thing so that there, I think there's a possibility of dinos in here at the moment it's all these if you want ammonite bile obviously perfect place but here's the artifact and it's the artifact of the immune and as you can see I already got my inventory so I can't take that but if you have got a, oh he's gone up, he's full enough, if you've got a, um, why is he going over there, come on, he's on follow, he's just flying off, it. <laughs> come on, right, I'm going to have to go get him, I don't know why I did that actually, you can access the inventory of an otter, can't you, from your, oh, there we go. oh good, he's stuck on the roof, excellent, can't go any higher now, can you? Normally when you put follow on creatures they they stop trying to race to the surface. So if you've ever taken an Anki underwater to farm underwater but an Anki will stay with you if you press follow. Uh, yeah, so we'll pick him up and uh, let's see if we can access the otter's inventory. Is it T? Is it a moat? Pet dino. I'm sure you could access a, an inventory. I thought it was R. I thought that should give me the inventory of the otter on, as a choice. Alright, well, I'll go in here where it can't fly off. It'll go up to the ceiling. Alright, that's enough. Stop. And um, accessing. Oh, well, let me access this inventory. Uh, maybe you can't access inventory underwater. Maybe that's what it is. That's probably why. Oh, that's rubbish. <laughs> so you can't use the Ottavilux in here to get more than one artifact. So, there's not a lot I can do with that second artifact then. I suppose if I'd had a box or something like that. But So it looks like the only way you're going to get two artifacts is if you bring more than one person in. That is strange how I can't access that otter's inventory underwater. Well that's the artifact of the immune people. Um, I'm not going to show you the way out because it's exactly the same way as the way in. You just go back through the Wyvern cave, and back, back through the castle, back through the caves and you're out. What I'm going to do is just check 
just to answer that question I'm going to put on ghost mode and fly mode and just go out of here and uh, oh, got fly mode but not ghost mode by the looks of it try that ghost again and we'll just get straight back out and you can see I'm above the castle there and I'll just see if I can now access my otter's inventory is it T? I thought it was R maybe I have to be stood on the ground right so let's, let's try warp mode and see throw him out Ah, so it lets me access the inventory there and I just want to show you that you can put in an artifact of the immune like that and then of course you can put another one in your inventory but um, anyway that's the artifact of the immune on the Tenia Stella map thanks for watching Hellborn at Games I'm not 100% sure how we would do that um, that cave on an official map or I'm not sure how you'd get past those fire wivens uh, but uh, it would take a long time to do that cave without god mode on so good luck people i uh, hope that helped at least showing your location of things and uh, i'll speak to you again soon goodbye